here with Francois Denet, uh, the big championships of French. Uh, we have had a, an article just a few days ago in our webpage about your other rival, the Spanish one, Kilian. So people was discussing a bit uh, who was the best uh, ultra runner in the world. Uh, we had Kilian, we had you, we have always uh, another people, but uh, what a thing that, that we were just uh, talking about was that uh, Kilian maybe runs the much faster in, in, in courses that are faster and smaller than you, but, but you are the king of the 100 miles. You know, four UTMBs, Diagonal de Faust, and Hard Rock, the record. So, François, how, how, do you, how do you feel? How do you see this, this rival? No, it's uh, nice to see you again. Uh, it's amazing uh, this comparison with Kilian because many of, uh, of media and people are always ask about it. I think with Kilian, it's, it's not really a confrontation because we are all well known Kilian and we know his capacity and how he can run, run fast and, and long time. So for me, Kilian is a, uh, yes, kind of a, uh, very inspiring uh, people and athletes. And I think yes, he is really. Uh, Yes, he is a, the kind of athlete who is uh, we are adaptable to, to what he what he chooses. And I think uh, for him it's difficult to choose because he really like uh, short distance, long distance, and ultra distance. And, and sometimes for him it was too much to prepare everything in one season. So I think that's why maybe sometimes he see don't win. But I think he, if Kian really focus on one thing. I think it's uh, just an incredible athlete and he can, he can beat uh, every record in every distance and uh, I, I'm very convinced about that. Uh, for me it's a bit different because uh, I choose to don't have uh, like a professional approach like him since the beginning. I always choose to have uh, something else like uh, another job. Uh, I, I choose uh, since, uh, since I was young to have uh, to take, spend some time with the kids. Now we have two kids too. but. Uh, but at the beginning, he was really focused only on his performance and his uh, athlete uh, career. For me, it was really different. And that's why I, I just want to focus on only one distance. It was uh, uh, just the ultra because I, I'm really passionate about that and not just about the race, but just about because of the training. Yeah, training well. for a uh, one-on-one miles, it's, it's really my, my way of life and my, uh, how I can have a balanced life. And I like the short distance race, like uh, the Gamma or Mont Blanc Marathon. And I think I can perform on that kind of race, but uh, the training for that race uh, fits less with my life and how I, I really like to train. So that's why I, I choose to focus on ultra distance. Yeah, that's actually the question I would like to, to take to you. You know, we are from Spanish media. Uh, this weekend it's Segama, probably the best marathon in the world. is the the Gama. <laughs> So, but you are here, you are in Baldic. Let us know why, why you are here, why you are in Baldic, why not in Segama, uh, why you have choose this 110k instead of the 42. Yes, well, so, so of course uh, Segama is one of the best races in the world and, uh, and I would like to, to compete here one day. But, uh, but for me, if I go to Segama, I have to prepare Segama. And preparing Segama for me, uh, means a lot of things, of different things, of different training. And, uh, and in my season, to prepare a lot, to go to Diagonal de Fou, to spend time with my family, to have uh, my schemo season, it's too many things to, to be able to prepare correctly uh, the Gamma. So I think I will go one day in the Gamma, but uh, maybe just to discover the race, and maybe not, not just about performing, or otherwise I, I have to choose a season just about that. But if I have to go to the Gamma, I have to, I have to train for it, and uh, actually I can train for that. So that's why I'm here. I'm here to prepare my season, my long distance season, and I'm here because I can be there with my family and spend time with them and have activity with them. In the Gamma, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit different. If I have to go to the Gamma, I think uh, I have to focus on myself and go alone in the Gamma because uh, it's a short race, so, and very competitive race. So I wish good luck to all the athletes in the Gamma. And, uh, I, I will, I will uh, follow the, the race, and I really enjoy uh, 
it's, it's this kind of race, but here it's a, it's a totally different atmosphere and that's why I'm here to be. So talking about this season, talking about your goals, uh, we all think that uh, probably the, the goal of the season could be the Hard Rock. Uh, you won last year, uh, you had the record, and you will compete with Kilian again. So yes, I, uh, is nobody, that true? Nobody will be there, and uh, I'm really excited to meet him. And uh, even more, more about the competition in Hard Rock, we we spend all uh, some days there and even some week for, for some of us. And it's a very very interesting moment because we can discuss all together. We can really spend some time together. And it's very, very nice to spend some time together. And with Kian, we don't have the time to spend so many days together. So in our work, we'll be with Dakota, with Kian, with Courtney, with Somezi, other athletes. And all the community lives together, and uh, it's very interesting. So of course, there will be the competition, but uh, yes, it's an intra, and we never know what's going to happen. Anyway, uh, I hope we can spend some time doing the race together. And it's uh, always interesting to, to race with Kian. So it's not to race against Kylian but with him as you, as you know and uh, I think it would be interesting. Great, so last year you were mates, you were both belonging to Salomon, now he has left Salomon, so I would have the opportunity to, to ask a bit you about the, the shoes that you are going to use this, this season. And we know that you were working with this prototype on the UTMB last year in Hard Rock, so how do you feel with that shoes? The, they are carbon plate I think, so can you let us know a bit of the feeling of the shoes and, and which shoes are you going to use this this this, this season? You, you think or you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, yes, uh, it's, it's a very long process to, to develop some shoes. So since two years now, we we develop uh, very different shoes uh, uh, since uh, the last we had with the ultra shoes. And it's, uh, it's a very interesting process for me, uh, but it's a, it's a long process. And last year we have some very uh, relevant and uh, and nice thing that we discover in Hard Rock and uh, in UTMB. So yes, we, we work uh, about a uh, plate uh, in the shoes, uh, but we work uh, also about a different uh, upper, different cushioning and uh, different feet, and even the geometric is totally different. So for me, it's very interesting because uh, the filtration is even better and the cushioning is, is better. We can play a bit more with the shoes. And for me, uh, I really fit uh, well in the shoes, but uh, there's a uh, there's some topics and something to, to still uh, to still work on, and I think this year Hard Rock and Diagonal Fou in one condition, uh, with, with that kind of race, we'll be able to improve the shoes, and I think for next year uh, we will try to commercialize it, and it will be a very interesting and, and new uh, new prototype and new shoes. Great and well, uh, Francois, the, the last question, and I cannot leave here without asking you. Uh, Jim Wadley, uh, Pau Capel, uh, Kilian, everyone is going to UTMB this year. You won last year, but you will not be there. I guess that the reason is what you said, uh, family and uh, all the things that you would like to do. But why you are not going to, to UTMB? Uh, because for me, I think it's very, very important to change the race uh, each season, or, or at least sometimes. And it's already four times that I did to UTMB and many times about CCC. So for me, it's important to, to not go to Chamonix every every year. And uh, yes, uh, there are some many many good athletes this year in UTMB. But every year there are some many many good athletes in UTMB. And last year it was a very very nice competition. I was really happy to, to win some miles with Jim. And, uh, and this year he, he will live not far from my house. Though, so so we'll even if I don't visit. even if I don't go to UTMB personally, I think I will go with him uh, vers <laughs> to UTMB and with my training I will, I will try to, to help him and, uh, and to, to go together uh, to be ready for the start. Great, thank you Francois and lots of luck for all the rest that you are doing. Just let you know that, that we are very fans of, of you, even we have thank Kilian, thank Pau Cafel and all of these Spanish big trail runners, but, but, but in Spain we really love you and we really like uh, you seeing there in the top. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Uh, I hope to be able to, to run uh, in Spain uh, very soon because uh, I like the, the ambience, the mood and the people over there. So it's a, it's a very nice country with authenticity and with a, a very big love.